I came in Marina Studio about two years ago. So always like to um, learn to dance. And then I just get hooked on it. And then when I discovered the dancing project, I was so excited and applied straight away. <laughs> and I'm so glad I got in. The Dancer Project is about an exploration into the individual dancer and what they can bring to performance. We really wanted to fuse lots of different styles together because the four choreographers have different backgrounds. My movement heritage is contemporary dance, like quite specifically like Limon, Graham, Cuban contemporary, but also a big part of my, of my career is tango and movement of the Latin American diaspora. It's a lot about connection, a lot about improvisation, and also this idea of kind of ritualistic movement. So I'm bringing kind of a deconstructed version of these styles into, into the project. My name is Philip, I'm 56. Uh, I'm an actor, stroke street performer. I, I also work with adults with learning difficulties. So I don't dance because I've been a member here for nearly five years now. And dance is a wonderful way of in yourself. If you want to put me in the category, yeah, it's gonna be hip hop, it's gonna be street styles, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be freestyle. I love doing commercial. I love doing pop in. Like I wouldn't put myself in a box. Any type of movement, it gives me so much happiness. My name's Amy, and I finished my training a few years ago. I kind of haven't been up to much and I really wanted to get back into dancing for a while and it seemed like the perfect kind of community project to do to get back into it with like people that maybe were of a similar mind as well. It's been such a pleasure like working with like dancers as well because I come from a theatre background. I'm an actor and at the moment I teach as well. It's really cool to really uh, try to blend different genres. My name's Helen, um, I'm 33 years old um, and I uh, do some dancing, so I teach some dance, I also do some acting work, freelance and um, I'm just finishing off a master's in the positive effects of dance as well. I miss like performing and I really like a challenge as well. I've kind of been out of the game for a long time so I just thought it would be really fun to meet like a group of like-minded people and the challenge of kind of performing in different spaces. So yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go, why not? So I'm a contemporary dancer, uh, I've also done tap and ballet. I like working with flow and music and breath and the experience of dancing rather than what it looks like and the emotion that you feel when dancing and the emotion that an audience will feel when watching you dance. The really exciting thing about mentoring is, as, as a lot of roles in the creative industry, is um, being really responsive to who you're working with. Um, so dance it was really exciting because it's four very different choreographers all trying to create something together. I think the, the collaborative practice that that demands is really challenging but really exciting and it's a real opportunity for those artists to really grow alongside each other and to challenge each other in ways that they almost certainly wouldn't be challenged in their own sort of safe sectors of the industry. As soon as I saw the call out, I, I was like, I really would love to do this because I really enjoy working like with community groups. So that was a kind of a, something that initiated my the impulse to apply. But also, I find working with dance, especially like the choreography element, you're often working on your own, and the opportunity to be able to like collaborate as a group, um, have a mentor, just was golden because I feel like that's so rare that we get that opportunity to just have all of these different movement people in one room and get to like vibe off and learn of one another. The choreography part is what's like, I can't run away from it. I love teaching. So when I heard about working with other choreographers, I'm like, okay, I can learn from them and I can actually get to know and like dig deeper into this amazing community which you guys have. I think it's really exciting watching rehearsals today because there's the company of dancers in there all looking really motivated and really excited. We're in, I think, two more rehearsals to go, so there's a lot of cleaning that needs doing, but there's a lot of substance in the room. I'm really excited to see the final piece. 
thing that keeps me motivated during rehearsals is finding that my body's doing things I wouldn't expect it to do. When you're 56, you don't expect to be sort of be able to be so flexible, and it's given me a whole new sense of um, self-esteem. And dance is such a liberating experience for yourself. The choreographers we have are like really varied in their background, so it really mixes it up week on week with the rehearsal. I mean, get to really know the group, so we become quite a, a tight knit group. So that's kind of what keeps me motivated because it changes week on week, and we devise as well. So we kind of create what we're coming up with all together. Um, so that's really fun to have some input on that as well. It's such an amazing atmosphere. Everyone's like really lovely, and everyone brings such like a positive energy because it's quite long a four hour rehearsal. But yeah, everyone is so lovely and it's high energy all the time. You get to be part of and work with other people and be part of like a family and you're all on the same sort of page. It's new to quite a lot of other people, which is nice. The fact that they're making on a very skilled but a community-based uh, company, particularly with arts funding the way that it is at the moment, responding to communities' needs and giving opportunities out to other people in the regional areas is really, really important. Whenever you've had a, like, a really stressful day, you might feel really low, and then once you start dancing, your body just starts waking up. I thought it'd be a really good um, opportunity for me to help improve my confidence and develop my dancing, learn new styles of dance and learn new skills that I wouldn't have otherwise learned. People who join doesn't they don't need to have a professional training, which is is me there. I never think that I could join in a crew that doesn't need a professional training before. I always am envious about other people who learn in the dance school because I never had the chance and I thought just a rare, a rare opportunity to do that. What have I gained the most? Um, probably motivation actually is a massive thing and like just like falling in love with dance again like it's so lovely like everyone's at different levels and different stages but everyone's so inclusive and supportive of each other so that's really lovely to see a lot more self-confidence a lot more willing to say yes to what my body can do also strange enough although i'm also doing acting you you tend to be a bit shy outside and it's being able to just like talk to people that share a passion and as I say, make new friends for it. Different kinds of art is meant for everyone. So anyone from different backgrounds or anything, you know, could just show up as themselves. And like, as choreographers or as artists, like it is our duty to make the people look good as well. And to just really bring out the best in them. So dancing in general, I really love and this is like such a community thing, you don't get it often. So it's uh, really nice to be a part of. It's just something that I, I never thought I could do it. This is like a, kind of like a dream, like coming true or something. And I never thought uh, I'll be so keen on it, but then the, the more I'm into it, the more I think I could do it. And there's um, people and, and this program to help me, which is, uh, which is amazing.